Since last weekend, missing person flyers have hung in windows at Olive Dell Ranch. I just want some answers too. Irene Encraft noticed the couple's car abandoned on a nearby road Sunday, and when they didn't show up to church, she went to their house. We went in, and there was Stephanie's purse, and her and their phones were still there, and everything. That's when we knew something. This isn't normal. While the officers were here, they received a tip. Following a tip Thursday, SWAT teams used armored vehicles to tear through Sparks' home, occasionally getting stuck in holes. Late Thursday night, the couple's 62-year-old neighbor surrendered to police underneath his house. Was there some sort of reported tunnel system underneath the house? There are no tunnels that we can tell. There is a space about five feet deep. It's so like a dugout bunker? It was concrete. And it goes back maybe to the back of the property. Mike was very quiet and laid back. It's hard to believe. He didn't like the Menards. You know, he said it many times that he hated them. But I, I never thought he'd do something like this. According to Redlands police, Sparks tried to shoot himself with a rifle, but it misfired moments before his arrest. We're all in shock in that because they were good neighbors. A neighborhood now mourning the lives of a couple they call friends. As the couple's know. dog, Cuddles, still remains missing tonight. Crews are going to be back out here tomorrow digging for those remains. Reporting the Redlands, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 11 News.